What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Today's video is going to be a recap on December 2022 Arizona real estate prices. We have some good and bad news that I want to talk about going into 2023. So here we go. Let's get this video started fairly quickly with a chart right here. You guys have seen this chart the last couple months. I pretty much just leave this template and then update it when my data comes out from the Arizona MLS is where I pull everything from. So what you have highlighted in red is all the new information and everything else in black has literally been copy and pasted left the same. So we have the year over year changes right here from December to December of 2021 to December of 2022. And the interesting thing or the thing about December is it's the final year or final month of the year. So all these numbers you're going to be going into 2023 right here. I think Arizona specifically, now that I'm looking at more overall data of the United States, I think Arizona got hit much faster and much more aggressively than a lot of the other parts of the United States. And I think what we saw in Arizona a couple months ago, even five, six months ago, is what we're starting to see in different states now in the United States. Now, if the same pattern happens when the real estate market starts to kind of reverse a little bit, I think Arizona will be one of the first states to kind of start recovering from that. But I don't think we're gonna see that anytime soon. Interest rates, the overall economy are not looking good going into 2023, at least the first couple quarters of the new year here. So what we're gonna have to see is obviously interest rates drop. So incentivizes people to purchase properties because what you're seeing right now yes real estate prices are dropping pretty significantly over 20 percent in parts of arizona big time but because the interest rates are so high you're buying a house for a hundred thousand dollars less but your mortgage is still higher than what it was last year two years ago because your interest rates were so low so that's why people aren't buying right now yeah it looks good on paper you're buying at a really steep discount compared to six eight months ago but your interest rates getting so out of control that your monthly payment maybe was $2,000 a month on a $500,000 house, but now it's $3,000 a month on a $400,000 house. And the only people that are winning in that situation is the banks, the people that are loaning out that money. So we're gonna have to kind of see a balance in that to really see a stabilization in the real estate market. But one good thing going into December of 2022 is we did see a in, uh, active inventory decrease um, for the second month in a row. And it was a pretty significant decrease at 11% month over month change. Went from 22,559 in November to 20,108 active listings, which is a drop of 11%. And I know going into January of 23, we're gonna see another pretty significant drop just based on what I've been seeing lately. I think we're probably gonna see around a, maybe a five to 10% drop of active inventory again as well. When we were at our absolute peak, we had inventory in the four digits, which is obviously too low. Like there's there was not enough supply and the demand just continued to shoot up, but we need to find a balance in that. Even overall, 20,000 listings, active listings in Arizona, still pretty solid. And it's nice that we're finally turning around. We had a peak in October of 22 of 23,151 listings. And ever since then, it's dropped a little bit. Um, new listings. So another interesting thing is people are listing their property. Our people aren't listing their properties as much as they were before. So as you guys can see, we started off lower right here. New listings in December of 21 was actually 7,098. And we're actually having less new listings right now, December of 22. Uh, December of 2022 was the lowest year of a year on new listings for the month. Um, so just less people are listing their houses, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the um, demand is going up and the supply is going down because uh, houses are just sitting on the market longer, which it shows right here at 68 days on market, which is by far the highest um, days on market out of year over year data from December 21 to 22. Uh, we actually <laughs> doubled what we were 2021. So houses are sitting on the market twice as long as they were a year ago. We had 34 days on market previously you times that by two. 2x that is essentially 69 days on market and we're 68 days on market right now. So yeah sitting on there much, much longer. And as a real estate agent, I 100% agree with that. There's just way less listings, way less people interested in the properties. Um, just overall, just a big stalemate going into 23. Um, sold listings. So we actually, I really like this. This is one of my favorite parts when I was doing this yesterday, creating this chart, is sold listings actually increase for the first time in a very, very long time. So we're gonna go back to December of 21. We had 9,269 sold listings. March was 10,144 sold listings, which was the peak of the market. Um, those houses were just flying off 
the freaking they're going so quick and then we were decreasing 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 and then um december 2022 or last month was the first month where we actually increased since i want to say yeah march of 22 so that's really cool that's kind of a good sign and then the new listings to sold ratio is really nice as well so it's how many listings were posted this month to how many listings were sold this month and we actually had um, more sold listings than new listings which is uh, under one so that's a really good ratio. It means we're actually selling more than new listings were going up. Good sign. We haven't seen that since December of 21. You guys can see all these are the 1.33 1 ratio, 1.47. So they're above the one to one ratio. And then December of 2022 was actually 0.95. So less new listings compared to sold listings. Yes, it could be the holidays, especially since the only other time we saw that was December of last year. So who knows? Um, but regardless, I like to see that we did see an increase in sold listings. It's kind of stabilizing a little bit, but I don't think we're gonna go anywhere anytime soon. I don't think we're gonna see a shift. Um, sold to active inventory ratio. So the amount of active inventory we have over here to the amount that was sold, 25% um, right here, decent. We had 105% a year ago. The biggest we saw in March, or the biggest um, sold to active inventory ratio was 139% in March. So we actually sold more properties than there was active inventory, which is really interesting. And then you guys can see right here, we had 19% sold, which was actually the worst of um, uh, 2022 was November. And then we saw a nice little jump right here. And then obviously the final column right here, days on market, super and super easy to understand. It's when you list your property to how long it's sitting on the market before it gets sold. 68 days, I think we're gonna continue to see this go up. Yes, uh, active inventory is decreasing. Yes, sold listings is increasing, but I still think days on market is gonna take a little bit while longer to uh, come back down. But 68 days is not absurd. It's way better than what it was sitting on here, like 26.7 days on market. So the average house, when you listed it, was sitting on the market for less than a month, which is crazy. 68 is fine. It is a pretty significant jump, though, from 59 days, 54 days, 47 days. So this is going to be probably slow down a little bit, but I think we're going to still see an increase here. Uh, we have one property listed right now, and it's been sitting on the market, I believe, yeah, right around 68 days. So... Uh, overall, year over year, you guys want to see this active inventory increase from December to December 11,267 listings, which is an inventory change of 2.27 times 2.27x what we had in December 227%. New listings actually dropped 2,202 listings, not a huge significant data point right here, but I wanted to list that out. So my camera's about to die. Perfect timing for me to end the video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, now's a great time to start getting systems in place to potentially purchase a property later this year. If you guys are looking in Arizona, I am a licensed real estate agent. I would love to work with you guys. Um, I can help you get from zero, zero to 100, basically from start to finish from Hey, how do I even purchase a property? Hey, I need to get pre-qualified or what do I do to get pre-qualified? I will help you from point A to point B. I would be your person from for that. Uh, not only with lending, I'd be able to put you in touch with my lender. I'd be able to show you houses virtually or if you're in Arizona in person. I had a lot of clients out of state actually come visit for a weekend if it was cheap flights and we'd show them 5, 10, 15 houses, knock them out um, and just kind of get you guys familiarized with the Arizona markets. Message me, I'm a licensed real estate agent. I love to work with you guys. Like I said, I'd be your point from start to finish guy. And um, yeah, that's it. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, DM me, email me if you guys ever have any questions. I interact with everyone on all my social medias, especially Instagram. So you guys can follow me on there and DM me. I will always respond and answer your guys' questions. Have a good one, guys.